WikiLeaks has revealed up to now what most Guyanese have known for years, that the country in the grand scheme of things is insignificant in international affairs. The more documents they merge from the whistleblower website, the less significant are the details about Guyana. In the latest release of documents over the last two weeks, there are now over two dozen documents about Guyana and Georgetown specifically. But most of them are either routine reports about environmental matters or copies of information relevant to the American Embassy in Georgetown. For example, there are reports on the Commonwealth Secretary General, and those are copied to the U.S. Embassy Georgetown. Another cable dealing with the British investment climate makes reference to Guyana as one of the several countries that has a bilateral tax treaty with Britain. So far, therefore, all the talk about what the infamous WikiLeaks documents may contain about Guyana may be just that, talk so far. Most of the earlier cables copied to the embassy and revealed by WikiLeaks deal with the subject of terrorism. In one case, the America's Two cable landing in French Guyana is mentioned on their program to safeguard America's interests abroad to prevent, deter, neutralize, or mitigate the effects of deliberate efforts by terrorists. Other cables deal particularly with Brazil and Venezuela relations and merely mention Guyana in passing that the country shares a border with the two other South American countries. On the fight against narcotics, the Georgetown Embassy was informed about the Bolivian president's attitude toward the media there and how some of his ministers have been operating. The Guyana government and opposition parties have been waiting to see what WikiLeaks has to offer, hopefully to make some political hay in this election year. For Capital News, Enrico Wolfett reporting.